What up, what up? It's your boy DJ Killzone Jones, man. I'm walking in white beef. Because I just got through hearing the beginning of freaking Cannabis' diss to J. Cole called J. Clone. Now, I don't know what's up with all these old rappers dissing the new rappers. But I will say this. The whole Drake and Big Shine thing, it's kind of... I want to say Luda was good in doing that, and he didn't even have to drop no names. But with, but with the whole look him and the cannabis thing, man, look, look him. She don't really. It's not really a beef thing for her. It's more of a respect thing. But same thing with cannabis. But they both said that they love these artists. I don't understand. It's so many people who didn't diss cannabis. Who didn't diss Lil' Kim. And I don't hear... I mean, they use them in jokes and references. Like, they talk about how LL body uh, cannabis. They talk about... You know, they talk about Lil' Kim going to jail for some people that snitched... That, that just basically was snitches. And they roll with Biggie. They People make that type of stuff known. So, that's my thing is like... Why are these rappers making these diss songs? First of all, the diss wasn't even that cold to me. I feel like cannabis has been off in the corner somewhere at the LL diss them. He was doing, he was still making high records, but he just kind of fizzled out. Whereas LL kept rising and rising and rising. Now LL's gone. He didn't made all the money he gonna, he gonna, he wants to make from music. He's dropping, uh, he's getting on a movie and TV show soundtracks, and he's doing acting, doing shows, doing workout stuff. Why come at J. Cole when the dude says that's one of my favorite rappers? He he at least gave you when people asked him about it, he literally he didn't dance around no, he didn't he didn't do Nicki Minaj. He didn't say, Oh, I love Kim. I love Trina or whatever. I mean, shouts out to Nicki too, but I'm just saying he literally said that is my one of my favorite rappers or my favorite rapper of all time. I don't understand that, man. What's up with these old cats wanna diss up on a young generation, but you know what though? I kind of see where where it is. I ain't gonna even talk about that whack disc because it was just whack. And even for cannabis, it was whack as, as a mug. It was whack as hell. But I can kind of see where the angst is. The OGs of the game in hip hop and in 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 anything really in life, um, especially in 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 the black community and African and African American community, we, they oh, the OGs. The, the heads of whatever look at our generation as a joke. They look at our what we stand for and everything as a joke. And everybody is following after by everybody. At least back when Cannabis and LL was beefing, they was two different monsters and two different machines. You had then on the other end of the spectrum, LL came at Cannabis and he wasn't even the gangster type, but he still bodied him on the track. Whereas Cannabis did have an okay comeback, but LL pretty much did the whole thing, you know. He, 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 I think they was gonna battle, or they did battle, or they was supposed to battle. I forget it. Go back and watch Beef. But I mean, the whole thing about it was LL kind of shut up after a while. After he, he, I think I don't remember if he responded. But anyway, the whole point of it is LL is still more relevant than cannabis as far as markability, as far as whatever. Even though he's in the background of everything. So that's my thing. Um, for real, I'm gonna put the the link to the to the uh this in the bottom. But like, I just feel like old people hating on young people, man, it's gotta stop. You know, I feel like the OGs feel like they and they had they did with other people that that lived and died for our freedom in 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 just in life in general, being able to go outside and go to different places and sit wherever other people sit. Then in music, breaking down barriers because you know. You know, hey, hip hop started an epidemic, started a movement. Now kids can get in wherever they want to. You know what I'm saying? Um, James Brown, uh, Lil Richard, Stevie Wonder, Ray Charles, uh, Prince, Michael Jackson, all these people then broke ground. You know, the women, Retha Franklin, Anita Baker, um, Whitney Houston, um, who else? The uh, Diana Ross, Tina Turner, so many different people broke the mold so that we can come up behind them. Luther, um, um, Patty LaBelle, just so many different people. 
You know what I'm saying? They have broken the mold and into the hip hop era. I'm just ashamed on how you know things are. Oh, I hate that people. If you're not a gangster or if you're not wearing skinny jeans or being cool or whatever, you ain't a gangster. You got to be a, a a preppy person. If you're not them two people, then if you in the tech or if you in the game and whatever you into outside of them two, whether you you hard or you soft, but you the like the ladies love you. You a pretty boy. Then you don't get no love. You don't get no shine. Even our own media does, and they ain't even into all of the stuff that we into. But they, they music influences our music. They people influences our people as far as the black community. And I'm done, man. Cannabis, man. All these other people, Cannabis King, I love y'all to death, but y'all need to quit dissing people. It's your boy DJ Kills on Jones, man. I'm just keeping it real because I love y'all. I love the new artist. I love everybody. I love music. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no beef with nobody, but this, this lame dissing stuff got to stop B. Hit me up. This your boy DJ Kill Zone Jones. You better remember the name, boy. And I'm out this mug. Peace.